Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP, where today we're heading to the Eastern Front for a little chain of command. Alright, so we're back to chain of command finally. It's been a little bit over a month since Johnny was here and we did that last early war game. Uh, <laughs> compared to the reaction that uh, we got from the little teaser I posted on the Facebook group, it would seem like we haven't played this in years, but uh, it's really only been about a month and a half. But if you're used to seeing a lot of Chain of Command on this channel, I understand as we've been playing a lot of different games lately, so Chain of Command games have been farther and fewer between. Um, but that's fine, you know, we needed, we needed a little break, and it's nice, but we're back now. Uh, we actually have some new pint-sized campaigns coming in that we're going to start soon. So yeah, we need to get back into it get the rules flowing again and uh, just relearn how to play and remember what we're doing. So tonight's game is going to be East Front later war period and we're going to have the Soviet tank platoon attacking a platoon of Panzer Grenadiers who are desperately trying to stop the Soviet tide. The mission we're going to use tonight is scenario 6 from the rule book attack and objective. So the objective is going to be this village here so the Germans will be defending it and they will pick one of these buildings to become the objective itself. So in the patrol phase, the defender will place four objectives on the, or I'm sorry, four patrol markers on the objective. Meanwhile, the attacking Soviets will place three or four patrol markers anywhere on their board edge. They'll get up to four free moves, and then we'll do the patrol phase. And the objective of the game is to capture the objective. That's it. Pretty simple. Uh, aside from all the MG42 fire, but in concept, it's simple. So that's the mission. So let's talk about the terrain real quick. Uh, first of all, we got our awesome grassy hill mat here from Geek Villain. We've used this plenty of times for infamy, and it's just a great all-purpose mat. So check that out if you're looking for something very vibrant and green like this. Other than that, we got our village. Everything here is going to be soft cover except for these walls. It's going to be a two-inch visibility on the fences, and it's going to be normal. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, what am I thinking of here? Uh, orchard. Orchard rules for this. Meanwhile over here, I don't know if you can tell, we've got a very large hill here. Quite large. This is the biggest hill that we have. And I wanted to test the limits of this mat, so we put this under and it fits perfectly. It's just long enough to make it to the edges under the trays, but it still perfectly forms to the hill. So this is a huge hill. It's got two pieces of wood on it. And the rules for the hill are going to be, if you're up here, you can see over these fences. Uh, so there's going to be, this is going to be woods, woods, so 4 inch visibility, 4 inch visibility, soft cover. We also have a few patches of grass, which are going to be soft cover in them as well. And that's pretty much it for terrain. So we'll start looking at the forces here. We'll start with the Germans. This is an SS Panzer Grenadier Platoon, commanded by Lieutenant Jens Kopke. And it is your straight out of the book Panzer Grenadier platoon. It's got a Panzer Strike team, three squads. Each squad has two teams with a two man MG42, one, one with two riflemen, one with three riflemen, and a couple of Panzer Faust E. So plenty of integrated anti tank in this platoon. The force rating for this is plus three. And here we have the Soviet Tank Rider platoon. So we've never used this platoon before. Uh, it's a very small platoon, as you can see. It's only got, uh, what, seven men per squad and one senior leader. So our senior leader tonight is Lieutenant Lankowski. He's going to be the Soviet lieutenant. And then each squad is a SMG sergeant, four SMGs, and one light machine gun with two crew. And that's it. That's the whole platoon. They are a minus two force rating, so that'll give them five extra support points on top of whatever the support points we wind up getting are. So it's going to be a tough one uh, for the, uh, the Soviets for sure. They don't have a lot of firepower. Um, up close they have decent firepower. But anything beyond SMG range are not going to get much shooting. But they will get quite a bit of support points just because they're attacking and they get the extra 5 support points. So hopefully they can acquire some long range firepower with that. Possibly a heavy HE tank, who knows. Maybe a flame tank. Uh, they might need it because as we all know, Panzer Grenadiers are incredibly hard to take out. The firepower they can pump out is just amazing. And having them just lying in wait in a village like this is going to be a really tough nut to crack for the, uh, the, the Soviet tank rider platoon. 
Anyway, that's it. Uh, real quick intro here, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so Andre's arrived. He's been briefed. He's going to be the Germans. I'm going to be the attacking Soviet platoon. So he's picked this building here as his um, objective. objective. And I've decided to come in with just three patrol markers right here and head up the hill. So now we'll do the patrol phase. Completed the patrol phase. I wound up with two patrol markers over here on my left flank, right next to each other, and then I wound up with one somewhere in the, there. in the woods right there. So I have command of the hill right now. Meanwhile, Andre's got his pretty well spread out. He's got one in the building here, and I believe I'll have to check it. But I think this might actually be a. Dip. I assumed it was. Might be one too. I'll check, but I think it is. He's got another one there, and he's got one. Right there behind that fence. So, so he's all I spread gotta out. do is come take the hill. Yes, you're defending. As the defender, so. I gotta go yeah. charge that hill. That's gonna be tough with all those SMGs. If you haven't uh, seen Andre defend in a while, he likes to go on the offensive <laughs> during, the, <laughs> during the defense. Almost every time. So we'll see if that the happens again. The best defense again. is a good offense. Yes. And that is it for the patrol phase. So we're gonna have um, 10 support points. But I'm going to have five more just for the force rating difference. I'm going to have 15. Andre's going to have five. And we'll pick our support and we'll do our plans. All right, so the Soviet plan. So I'm going to have 15 points. Andre's only going to have five because we're starting at 10. He gets half of that. Then I get five more. So 15 against five. So that gives me a, quite a big advantage in support points. Um, so what I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring an SC-122. It's got uh, six armor. 6 HE, I'm sorry, 6 uh, AP 11 HE, it's fast, but no machine gun. That's 8 points. And I'm going to bring um, a scout squad. It's an elite squad, that's 5 points. There's 2 SMGs, 2 rifles, and two, team, 2 of those teams and an SMG sergeant. And then the last thing I'm going to bring is a pre-game barrage. And the Soviets have that Wrath of the Gods, which makes pre-game garages count as a five plus to come in and also just to make things interesting we're going to give we're going to let the soviets have two trucks for free so i'm going to have one squad riding on the tank two squad riding in the trucks and my plan is uh, the trucks and the tank are going to come straight up this side we're going to try to take over this here he's got one jump off point here uh, but i think i might be able to take it if i'm lucky I'll probably send the scout squad out from over there towards that direction to kind of split them up. They're elite, so they're harder to hit. Uh, they're just better. And we'll just send them over there on their own and see what happens. Kind of as a distraction. But the main force is going to come straight down here. We're going to try to just take over this whole compound here and get close and see if we can unload with our SMGs. Uh, the pregame barrage should help keep him back unless somehow the turn ends on a, on a triple six or something, which always can happen, but uh, it should at least buy me a little bit of time to drive up. He's got a lot of AT built in. He's got Panzer Shrek, he's got six Panzer Faust, so it's getting close is not a great idea. And he could actually deploy right into this um, orchard as well. That's assuming he doesn't buy a bunch of wire and minefields and just block all this off. But anyway, yeah, that's my plan. Send the main force up the road, send the scouts over there, and hopefully we get some good rolls. Okay, well, German plans. So I got a pretty good, you know, this town is a, a decent place to defend. I got lots of cover, and there's quite a bit of open ground out here that Travis has to come across. That hill is going to give him, you know, a decent vantage point to be up on top of, but he's still got to cover all this open ground. So, um, what I'm liking is this orchard. I got a jump off point here. Got the fence in the orchard. I'm probably going to have two of my squads in that area. And what that's going to do, 
uh, sorry about all the walking around here, is um, that'll give me a pretty good line of cover all the way across here. I can see all this open ground. Pretty good line of uh, field of fire. What I'd like to do is to drop a piece of uh, hard cover in here for the machine gun team, or actually for two machine gun teams. I'll uh, drop in um, two hard covers and that'll hopefully be able to hold uh, this flank. So between the hard cover on the machine gun teams and the covering fire from the uh, other flank, I'm hoping that I can really just kind of keep Travis from uh, making an advance across. Um, a lot of it's going to depend on you know how far can he get with those vehicles uh, before I incapacitate him. Um, yeah, obviously if he actually gets down in here and we wind up in uh, you know close range combat around the uh, church, um, it's going to be a different deal. But uh, you know I still kind of like the idea of my uh, you know holding both flanks and having covering fields of fire from both directions. Um, when I can pull it off, it almost always works well. Um, it does split my forces a little bit. Um, I might not feel comfortable leaving, you know, a squad down here, um, you know, so far from reinforcements, but, uh, you know, we'll see. That would kind of be ideal. Um, if he's coming down the road with the uh, trucks, that should work. Um, we'll see. That is the plans. We roll force morale. I have him on a 10. Andre's on a 9. Do you need to start the other camera? No. No. Okay. Not yet. Yeah, we're trying out two cameras tonight. So if you see extra clips in there, that means it worked. If you don't, <laughs> the Soviets what, no will promises? begin. <laughs> no promises. Whoa, oh, man. End of turn. No. That was my pregame barrage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, does it get any more screwed up uh, than that? No, it does not. Three points down the drain. Two. Two points down the I drain. I think. Or was it three? I don't know. A four and a one, which means I can't do shit except lose my pregame barrage. <sighs> but you get another turn. Yay. Three points. <laughs> <laughs> and a two. Yeah. Nope. Uh, your go. <laughs> really? Yeah. What am I going to do? Bring in... Yeah, bring in one thing. Actually, maybe I could, huh? Probably not a bad You're idea. You're attacking, I mean. It's did bring in my scout squad here, tactically, just for the hell of it. Uh, see if we can draw some Germans out. That's their job, anyway. All right, so we got one, three, three, four, five. So Andre has brought a squad in here. Did not shoot at my scouts. It would have been sixes to hit anyway, and I'm in hard cover because I'm tactical. Uh, so probably run. wouldn't have done much, but... Uh, but he's going to wait for something real to come in. So I'm going to... Are you done? Yeah. All right. What, what are you going to do? End the turn or something? If I end the turn again, I get my pregame garage back. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. I was going to say, if you can roll three sixes again, um, I'd probably have to give it to you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to roll... Uh, yeah, I got a good roll here, so I'm going to bring some stuff in. But first thing I did, uh, I'm going to move... Well, not. The, I brought my tank in. I should have shot that first before I fired. I guess it doesn't, I guess I could shoot that first, but I brought that in and I'm moving these guys up tactically. So he's going to fire on them with those guys on overwatch. We can, what, sixes? Sixes? Yeah, because you're long range. So three what? hits. Yeah, because they're elite, remember? So it's, you're over oh, 18, so it's five, five plus. So sixes. Yeah. Wow. Okay. One, two, three. Three hits. Okay, and then I'll roll these, Andre. This isn't bolt action. Okay. I gotta split them up here. So this team here, uh, it's a shock. The other team, nothing. And then the original team, nothing. So a shock, a shock. on those guys, and that's it. And now I will fire the SU-122. 7 HE for the SU-122. Onto these guys in the orchard, needing fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits, Andre. Seven hits, huh? Yep, so four on one, three on the other. So okay. we'll start with this team over here in the orchard. Uh, that's two dead, because it reduces cover by one. Nasty. And then a dead and two shock. So check your leader. 
It is him. See what happens. He's knocked unconscious. So he lost a leader and two guys. Both of the uh, dead guys came out of the team in the orchard. He's got two shock on the other one. And then the leader has been knocked out. So an effective first shot from the SG-122. It has no machine gun though, Andre. So it's, oh, darn. Yeah. And that's it. So that's Andre. It. That's all you can. That's all you got. That's all I got. Killed two guys and knocked out a leader. Double phase. Ooh, looks like I'm going to have to rush your tank. And then two twos. Okay, so I'm going to have... Oh, I forgot to mention, Andre, there is a squad on top of this. You uh, forgot to one mention? One of the tank riders. If and then, there was, then it would have been denoted with a guy on top there. And then we also forgot to put Andre's support choices out. Well, hold... So, it's so if have, you got tank riders, I can shoot at the tank riders, can't I? I have no idea. So anyway, we'll, we'll figure it out in a minute. Just hold on a second there. He brought his medic in, and he's revived the leader there. And then he brought the rest of his support points and another squad in over there. So needing sixes. Needing sixes on the scouts. One, two, three. Three again. Okay, uh, two on one team, one on the other. So the closer one to me, uh, it's a point, point of shock. shock. And then the farther one is another point of shock. So that's three total points of shock. His leader is back up, and he's got another squad out over there in his second phase. Next phase for Andre. <laughs> another double, double phase. phase. Hey, there's your one, though. So you can bring your Panzer Shrek team in. With my double phase. And another chain of command point of four. So he's bringing in Kopke right here. Over here with this squad, which is pretty brave. But all these double phases, I think, are emboldening Andre. A little bit. A little bit too much, possibly. But anyway, he brought in Kopke here. He's going to order the squad to fire at those guys. Needing sixes. Okay. One. Just two, huh? Okay, so okay. your squad. Far squad. Uh, point of shock on the far team, I should say, not squad. Alright. Uh, okay, he's still got a one left. And the Panzer Shrek has come in now. He's going to take a shot. At uh, the scout squad, right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Not the <H> tank. <laughs> uh, I, I'm pretty sure you're going to be in the third range band. Third range band. So I think it's a 48 inch range. Okay. And then, uh, so you need a seven. So one. 2D, yeah. 2D6? Seven on one D6. If possible. I need a seven? Uh, eight, I'm sorry. Yeah, third range. No, seven. Yeah, seven. Oh, so 2d6. Okay, I thought I had to roll double sixes here. No. <laughs> I'm like, ah. I think it's just a seven, just for the two range band. Oh, it's a Ooh. hit. Oh, boy. It's like 13 fucking HE, too, or AP. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Six against 13. Wasn't it 11? I got four. It's pretty damn good. Oh, you're 13. Three, six, nine. It's fives Three, and sixes. Six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, I got it right. No, it's just sixes. Okay, I bounced it. We're only counting sixes. Bam. Uh, in Soviet Russia, we don't care. <laughs> isn't that even a point of shock? That's nothing, man. That's I bounced it right straight up. But you do get, uh, what, another phase here. <laughs> uh, Drop one, though. That's one shot. Two more shots. Hey, all of my fours. senior leaders can activate. But you could fire the Panzer Shrek again because you got enough with, for Kopke to activate it. Go. I think hitting on a six this time because I haven't moved and he's ranged in. He got it. Got okay. him. See if we can repeat the magic. Repeat. No, I only got two that time. Okay, 13. Ugh. That's his second shot. Coming up. And... Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So you got three? Yeah, he's three been, net hits. He's destroyed. Well, that's game. <laughs> <laughs> I can't possibly get close to you with a bunch of truck mounted uh, SMGs. Well, we press on. Is there anything else you want to do? You still got um, one command left with. Uh, well, I was going to pull back off the uh, fence, but I guess I don't have to do that now. Um, no, I can't shoot at you. I guess I'll fire. Uh, okay, firing at the scouts. Uh, over there. Needing sixes. All right, and we got one, two, three, four. Okay, two on this team. Oh, a dead and a shock. 
And then the other team, uh, shock. So check the leader, not the leader. So oh, is it my turn now? Just a rifle dude here? Yeah. All right. Actually, I probably should take an SMG out so I could actually shoot something. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So you want to use an SMG? Yeah, I might as well. Uh, the one with all the Panzer? Yeah, I'll take the Panzer <laughs> Faust SMG out just because he doesn't really belong there. Four, two, two, and two more five. So I'm up to five on my chain of command points. And then two twos and a four. You're almost... So for the guys on the tank, we were just talking about, since there was guys on here, we'll say D6 automatic hits, so I'll just roll the saves. Well, uh, D6 hits. That yeah, means so I roll a D6. Yeah. So three. three. Okay, so three hits. Uh, here we go. It's all one big squad. So three shock. So the guys on the truck will get off and take three shock. And then I brought a squad in here in another in a truck, uh, whopping seven inches on 3D6. And I can really only bring in one truck per turn. Uh, I would suggest so actually getting that truck onto the road, though, in case I, I can't because the tank is there. Yeah, but you could move your seven inches and get like that and make the argument that you're on the road for next turn. Okay. Uh, so I took three shock and I got to get off. There they are. Uh, they're three shock. <laughs> I was looking for the rest of the squad. Where's the rest of the Where'd they go? That is the whole squad. And I do have another two, but uh, I said, why couldn't I bring the other? It's not a tank. It's just another squad just in a truck. So how about we bring the other? Might as well bring the other one in too. Or I could move, I think. Yeah, I'm going to move those guys up a couple D6. See if I can get into that grass. But I have a shitload of shock on me, so... You got, uh, six shock? Yeah, they're not going anywhere. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's yeah, it. At least so. you're being consistent, Travis. Now twos and threes. Hey, that's not a double save. So two and a four. And a couple fives. fives. So he's going to fire on the scouts. Two and sixes. One, Look at the fives. Two, three, four. Four right, sixes. First team. So another point of shock. Five, yeah, they're going to be shocked to hell. And another. So one point of shock each. And then this squad can do something. Bill All right, Panzer Shrek on the truck. It's definitely it's a hit. A, uh, it's probably an auto. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, 13 HE against nothing? What is that going to be? <laughs> uh, we'll have to look at the chart. What to say it's destroyed. It doesn't really. It says soft skin zero to one, one hit. Success and then two hits, but I don't understand where the uh, defense from a soft skin's coming. If I do get any defense, it'd be like one dice against well, 13. So, well, I guess you yeah, gotta just roll that. Okay, that's true. You could whiff that roll, I forgot. I could. Yeah, so uh, you got So I got so five. Destroyed. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, so let's see here. So three is automatically destroyed. So then I do a D6. Explodes. So it's either destroyed or explodes. Oh, a five plus. Yeah. Okay. On a five, it explodes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course, it explodes. Uh, D six hits on infantry and four and two D six on passengers. So do two D six on the guys inside. <laughs> Eleven hits. This is going to be the shortest chain of command game uh, in history. This is just stupid. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no argument from Travis. No, it's, it's over. Yeah. Without the tank, I, I cannot function. That's the only thing I had going for me to try to keep your head down. Well, don't forget about the uh, pregame barrage that, that died on the first turn. Uh, so it's going to be in the open. So one dead and four shock. Actually, this is one big squad, isn't it? So I just roll them all together. It's going to be two dead, two and, dead seven and, shock. and a lot of shock. Two dead and seven shock. Let's check the leader. It's not the leader. So I've had good luck on those leader rolls, at least. And is it four within, inches. Oh, not six inches? I think it says, uh, yeah, infantry within four inches. Well. So you are within four inches. So D6 hits. That one dude had his head four sticking hits. out there. Okay, in the open, one dead and two shot. Yep. And then this next truck is destroyed. How many guys did I lose? Uh, two. I thought it was just. I thought it was two guys dead. Two or one. It was two. Okay. And then a bunch of shock. 
And seven shock, yeah. I'll take out the two rifles. Yeah, you're not going to do any shooting from long range. I'm not going to do any shooting, period. <laughs> you only got seven shots. Once your last squad comes out, it's over 60 shots coming my so way. So does that mean you're pinned? Uh, seven. One, two, three. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're pinned already. Hard cover. That's what happens when you take uh, seven shock and lose two guys with only seven dudes in a platoon or in a squad. Wow. Okay. So that was just the Panzer Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> right? Or did you? Uh, yeah, it was. Or... Yeah, they no. Just, they fired they, with them. You still have oh, the Oh, these guys to fire. can still. Uh, yep. Shit. It's like I'm gonna fire at uh, the squad here and see if you can break them. Beating fives. Uh, two, four, six hits. Six hits. In the open. That's two dead. I think it's two shock. four shock. Or two dead and two shock. Yeah. So that'll probably break them. Uh, it's not the leader. So you're up to nine with yeah. three guys left. They're dead. Oh, they broke. They're off. They're off the table. So it would roll uh, team break or squad breaks. And then leader one routes. All right, so I'm down to four on my force morale. We forgot to roll in the tank. So the truck, the tank, the leader, the squad routing took me from 10 to four, all of that. Um, yeah, I'm going to just concede because there's no freaking way I can come in one at a time in trucks <laughs> and ever get anywhere, especially with only four force morale already. Yeah. Uh, so I think that the, the pregame barrage ending. Oh, that. That was a bad. That was, that was huge bad, <laughs> and then me getting lucky on taking the tank out Everything, was Yeah, because yeah, there would have been a good chance you couldn't even bring that Panzer Shrek in. Yeah, but well... Me rolling the end of that, uh, the end of the pregame barrage pretty much, that was a crippling blow, but the, the fatal blow was losing the tank. Yeah. Because there's no way I can roll in with seven-man squads needing to be within 12 inches against cross-wide open ground and ever hope to even get close to you. Yeah. It's just not going to happen. It's, uh, they, I just got, yeah, these German squads have so much firepower. Yeah, it's, and this Panzer Shrek is just ridiculously overpowered. I yeah. Think. 13, yeah, that's more than like a Tiger tank. Yeah. And a 48 inch range. And the most, I mean, you would probably need a seven unless you had some pins on you or some shock, but. Yeah. I mean, it, even a seven at 48 inch range on 2D6 isn't impossible. That's a, Plus, you got a, a great average, chance. It's a, yeah, you got more than a 50% chance of a hit. Yeah, and then the a, the AP on the thing is more than like a King Tiger tank. <laughs> well, so it's you did really get powerful. lucky on the first hit and uh, managed well, to bounce the first one. Yeah. And but, then it, I was hoping you would have missed. If you would have missed a shot. Yeah, then. Then I would still be in it. But still be. Happy, as it stands yeah. now, there's no way I can possibly do anything. Um I've lost a truck, I've lost a squad, another squad's got five pins, they're about to be pinned, my tank is destroyed. I and got two trucks, or uh, two, uh, one truck left. <laughs> and it's just tough to deal with uh, an opponent who's got uh, three double phases, or well, that two too. double phases. Yeah. You had a double phase too. Yeah, I did at the very beginning. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. I love yeah. that. That was um, great. So yeah, super double phase. It's so in the turn, I, I, end the game on the first roll of the dice. <laughs> yeah, Travis was trying to talk me into rolling in, you know, switching sides, but I don't really like that idea just because. What do you mean switching sides? Yeah, you know, I I play the uh, Russians, you play the Germans. You suggested that. I did. Yeah. Why don't? Yeah, you said why don't you try and uh, uh, push this attack in on the next. Uh, one and no, I, I was no, I was thinking you'd still be the Germans and but attacking me instead. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, I was. We well, could even try to attack this direction up onto the hill, or if maybe we could try it again. How it couldn't possibly go that bad again, can it? Well, that that was my thought was I don't want to do it again because it would just make you look bad if it worked just <laughs> because I got average luck and yeah, you know, that's yeah you know, no. Um, so we'll uh, we'll discuss a little more, figure out what we're actually going to do for the replay, and yeah. do a double header here. We're going to play another game, a bonus game. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just pretend that first game never happened. Game two. Here we go. So we're going to use everything the same. 
We're going to pretty much replay it. The only difference is we're going to make the, the Tank Rider platoon elite, the whole platoon. So that'll give them a huge upgrade because huge. it's going to be harder to hit them. They're going to be just better. But they need that because, as we just saw, of course, there was a lot of just really lucky and unlucky rolls happening there. That yeah. Everything but, kind of all at the same time happened. But the firepower I was pouring into them out there and all I was doing was stacking up some uh, Pin shock. shock yeah. Was, uh, so I'm a little worried, but we'll see. Yeah. So we're going to keep everything the same, same support, everything. And we're just going to start, try again. Okay. So, uh, turn one. Uh, so, you're going to end the turn So, right I rolled now. five sixes. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> well, we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just do everything exactly the same. Same force morale, everything. What the hell? All right. Now, if I roll three sixes again, we're just going to call it and I'm going to do it again. <laughs> nope. So, I got a five, two, three, four, four. Brought my SE-122 in on Overwatch, and then the truck came in. Another crappy roll. He only got a 10-inch move, even on the road. And, yeah, that's it. Lenkowski's going to stay off the board for now. Two hey, twos. there's my three... Uh... Yeah, well, he already had it pre-positioned. Perfect. And then two twos. Andre has brought a squad in. Made it through the pre-game barrage, the super pre-game barrage. He's brought him in there. Uh, behind that fence, out of the line of sight of everything. He tried to bring in two squads, but one failed. Couple fives. Oh, two, two, and a three. Moved everything up. I brought my last squad in. So one squad's on here, and then a squad each here. And I do have still have my scout squad off the table, so they have to roll to come in. But everything is advancing. We've made it twice as far as we made it last game. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, this is it. Okay. Oh, oh nice, right. nice, yeah. nice. Just what I wanted to see. A four. Oh, a one, I got a, a one, a two, and a four. So first thing he's going to do is bring in. Oh, you got to roll uh, through the pregame barrage, oh, Andre. Oh. But he is, he's going to try to bring his um, Panzer Shrek in again. The damn the, thing. The the pregame barrage is still going. It is. <laughs> <laughs> they oh, didn't get man. distracted by another operation. All right. Oh, oh, it came in. Of course. And. <laughs> Uh, you uh, need a... Uh, in oh, this team. Okay. The other squad no. doesn't come in. Okay. But the Panzer Shrek does. So if I can survive this, of course i got to survive another phase. <laughs> I might be able to take him out. All right. So it's, here we go. That's going to be a hit. It is a hit. Oh, boy. <laughs> Six against 13 again. I only got lucky that first time. I got two. You got two. A little unlucky. got to get five. One, two, three, four. So one net hit. So all a d6. You had three? I had two. Did I say two? I think I had Yeah, two. you said so two. two. Okay, so, so two, two net, net hits. hits. So roll, you still got to roll a d6. A four. Two shot immobilized. <laughs> well, it could, could be worse. Could have been a lot worse. Oh, it'll get there. <laughs> Uh, he's immobilized too, so we can only cover that one small area. Um, and then the next phase, right? Uh, yep. No, he can do something with that squad. Oh, with oh. The two. Oh, sorry. So the, this guy's moved up one d6. Only got a one, but they did go within two. And he's going to shoot at this truck here. Or at least the front row got within. So half of the front row. So needing fives. Uh, yeah. So four hits. Four. Okay, so it says infantry fire versus soft skins. These roll sixes. Uh, one six. So nothing. So only two, only two sixes. If you got two sixes, you roll on the zero net hit table. So maybe they are a little bit more survivable than I thought against small, small arms fire. Looking at that chart, infantry fire versus soft skins. Roll is normal. Versus crew passengers. Wait a minute. Oh, so you shoot at the crew. Okay, so you get the hits on the crew, but if you get the extra sixes, you hit the Oh, okay. Vehicle. Okay. okay. So four hits. So four hits. Okay, that makes sense. Four hits on the dudes inside, and I think it said soft cover. Makes sense for a soft skin. Three shock. 
three shock on the guys inside. But the truck is not damaged. And not shocked. So we can still keep driving. <laughs> yeah, just keep driving. But you get another phase. Can I have that uh, white die? I think that Here. was uh, part of this. Okay, so next phase. Yep. That is not a double phase. So two more fives and a two uh, and a four. Three more fives. Three more fives. Oh, wow, you already got a chain, chain of command die. Oh, excellent. So you could, I you can, could interrupt with the banjo interrupt. <laughs> Perfect. And then you wound up with what? A two and or, a four? I, I didn't roll my uh, my four from the last time to see if my senior leader came in. I thought you did. No. Well, I rolled to see if uh, the other crew came in. Okay. So. Yeah. So that squad shooting at the truck again. Yeah. And we were just talking. These guys are elite, but in the truck they're not elite because he's shooting at the truck. So there's really no point. In I'm better off out of the truck than in oh, the truck. Oh wow. That was a damn good roll. <laughs> Just uh, what I needed, Travis. Oh yeah, because you've been having such shit rolls yeah. tonight. So does it matter sixes? Yeah, you gotta count sixes. Okay, I got seven sixes. <laughs> okay, so that's over... Uh, yeah, you got more than uh, four sixes. So roll on two net... No, you just destroy it. It's just destroyed. So okay. does 2d6 explosion on the uh, guys inside. Well, should we resolve these hits first? <laughs> you want, so you want to double dip here? 2d6 hits and the hits? Or just take these hits. So <laughs> I just remove the whole squad. There we go. <laughs> All right. How am I possibly going to survive that and 2d6 hits with only two guys? Um, with only seven dudes. He only had five shock. <laughs> yeah, well, they would have. So they would have routed either way. So that's that. Okay. Okay. Panzer Shrek. Panzer Shrek. Okay. Ooh. From, from Cop. I should just, should I just end this? Put you out of your misery? <laughs> Instead of hitting the tank, I can hit the other truck. You can try. Oh! You missed. A miss. All right, you missed. Finally, okay. some good luck. So uh, what, you get to take a turn now? I think so. Oh, man. <laughs> I think I get to that do something now. That was my whole strategy. Travis doesn't get to roll. It's worked so far. Oh. Two more fives. I thought you were going to pull the miraculous double turn. No, no. Not this. Whoop. What was that? That was a three. Three, okay. Two threes. I'm actually more... I pulled the... Uh, well, with one of the threes, the guys on the tank got off. And then we're going to pull a shock and fire at the Panzer Shrek team. But he does have a full chain of command. So next. I'm going to fire back at you first. With an interrupt. So see if I can take that tank out. It's a miss. I think I ran out of ammo. I think you were out of ammo anyway, because you fired, that was your third shot. <laughs> yeah. You blew up the truck, you immobilized the tank, and then you missed. Okay. Or did you miss the truck? I forgot what. Oh, no, you missed the truck, but the squad is the one that took out the truck. Okay. And then, uh, uh, so yeah, so they moved up, he pulled the shock, and we're going to fire at the uh, Panzer Shrek team. Of course, at this point, yeah, we'll shoot at him. Why not? Payback time. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six hits. Ouch. And I think your leader's within four of him. Yep. So, uh, two so that's dead. two dead. Yep, check your leader. If I can get Kopke here. Ooh, oh, oh it is Kopke. He's knocked out. Nice. He's not your medic, though, so you can come in and fix him. Uh, so you oh. only lost one guy. Oh, okay. And you had some shock too, right? Uh, Cocky's down. One guy left with one shock. They're unpinnable. <laughs> they can break though with one more shock, and that I think that's it for me. Okay. Yeah, that was my two threes. Woohoo! All right, Germans again. That's not a double face. One, two, three, three. Um, so these guys are gonna come in here. Tried to bring the medic in, didn't make it. Tried to bring another squad in, didn't make it. He did make it with this squad. They're going to shoot at the truck. Eight and fives. Uh, I've decided being elite in a truck is not a big <laughs> advantage. <laughs> but we do have a lot of ground to cover here. So here we go. So these guys are going to fire at the truck. The truck. So that should be 21 shots, right? I think so, for a full squad. Uh, okay, so... That's 14 plus 7. So there's 3, 6, <laughs> okay. 7 more. All right. All right. Here we go. Roar. Okay, we got 
four sixes. Oh, I think that's automatically destroyed again then. <laughs> okay, and, so trucks are shit. And, against but only two appears. other. So only six hits total. So that's so what that's, I mean. A dead and, and then two D6 more again. So it's the same thing that happened last time. Two D6 more? Yeah, because it blew up. You got a bunch of uh, sixes. So six more. Six more. All right. So that's three dead and three shock. It's not the leader. Okay. All right. Well, they broke. They lost a bunch of dudes. They took a bunch of shock, and that leaves me with, again with one squad in my scout squad against a full Panzer Grenadier platoon. There's really no hope for me anymore, um, again. So do we just keep going? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if these guys can get into the village. Mm -hmm. I still have my scout squad. Yeah, so I got I mean, two squads left, and then I do have this tank still. He's immobilized, but he can still fire. Okay, is that it for you? Uh, I think it is. Yeah, because you tried to break yeah, a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I screwed up and well. All right, I need a double phase here. There we go. Okay, now we're talking. There it is. One, three, and you four. Can do stuff. Actually, I got to roll a bunch of bad things first. <laughs> <laughs> so leader four routes or leader big big man routes. A so one. Uh, senior leader routes. Little, is little minus man routes. Two. Uh, another one on the small the small leader. Okay, that's minus one. Then the squad a th breaks is a three. That's minus two. So senior leader routes on a one is a two. Yeah. So you're at minus five for all of that. <laughs> okay, I'm down to uh, five now. Already from ten. Okay, so now I will do something. So these guys got to move up here. There, at least I think I'll line aside to that squad. So we're out of two games. One squad has sort of made it to the village, <laughs> and then um, my tank. I'm going to pull the last shock, and I'm going to shoot at. We'll just fire at the Panzer Shrek guy, and it'll spread into that other squad there. Needing fours. One, two, three, f only four. So uh, you got a team and a Panzer Shrek team there that you can split them to. Okay, Panzer Shrek is black. Okay, so, so it's a, sh a shock. So they're gonna break because there are two shock with one guy, and then you take a dead on the other team. So check your leader. That's a shock actually too. <laughs> that three it's was a shot. It is your leader. See which one it is. It's this junior. Uh, junior. See what happens to him. He just takes a wound. So you're gonna have to roll team breaks for the uh, Pendra Shrek team. Oh. It's gotta be a minus two, right? Team breaks. Yep. Okay, and then junior leader wounded. Gonna be a minus. That might be nothing. I no, think it is one. nothing. It's a minus one. It's gotta be a minus. It two. is just minus. So Andre's one. down to six now. Okay, that was an effective uh, shot. Did I ever roll for senior league getting hit? I don't think you did. No, you never did roll that one. No, well, it's a roll bad thing for Kopke. Come on, six, a four. Senior leader wounded. On a four. Senior wounded. Still a minus one. Minus one. So Andre's down to five. Nice. Ah, wow. Okay. That evens it up a little bit. <laughs> and then they bit. go 2d6 plus 6 just away. Look away. Look so away. 12 inches 12 for them. Inches. And I th think that was it. You only lost one guy, right? Yeah. But that was the leader instead of a guy. I think that's it. And I got a double phase, Andre. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was... Yeah. So one, two, three, four. The squad here has run up. 3d6 to the orchard. They got up to the fence. I guess we could say we captured Kopke, right? I mean, we, we're on him. Um, well, you're on him. I don't know. Uh, you can get him back. I, I, I would like to think, uh, having just run up there, you probably haven't had time to throw any zip ties on him yet. And then with the last, uh, that was a two with the three. My senior leader's dead, Lankowski. Or he... He's not dead, he routed. 
I'm going to fire the SU-122 at that squad there. With your juice right there? Yep, I'm firing over there. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Three, or Soviets, we don't care. This is true. Only five. Only five. Only five. So split them up. Okay, so uh, um, one one group. Dead. And the others. A dead and a shock. So you got two dead, so roll a leader check. Leader check. Oh, your leader's Hit again. Hit. He's, He's knocked out. Okay. So, so, you so lost. that was the one thing that couldn't kill him, was knocking him out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's still alive. Uh, <laughs> Roll a bad thing, though. I usually don't think that's hilarious, because usually that happens to Travis. Roll um, a bad thing happens. Bad thing. It's got to be a minus one. So Andre should make, you might be down to four all of a sudden. Yeah. Wow. Maybe him living wasn't a good thing. Um, yeah, maybe, because I've seen Junior Leader killed. One of four is a minus two. Yeah. Uh, so it did. So it's stop. probably about the same. It would have dropped you. Unless I get a minus two when you kill him next turn. Um, yeah, so your squad okay. leader is wounded, so he's just going to. Well, he's wounded and unconscious. He's wounded and unconscious, and I think And that's, I lost. Did I lose? And how many you lost did you one kill? more guy. One more guy. Okay. All right. And that's it. Hey, a casualty. Hey, a double phase. Uh, Amazing how those help out. It's Andre's phase. He did not roll a double phase. I need a I double did. phase. Ooh, That's no. not a double phase. One, three, three, four. Andre is going to bring in his last squad right up against the fence. We're going to do some fisticuffs. The only reason we didn't do it here is because there was no clear path between us. But Andre is uh, signaling his intention to deploy right into fisticuffs, so here we go. Actually, can can you deploy into fisticuffs? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can if you want. Okay. Um, you're not, you're not going to get any help for those machine guns. You're attacking me, so I think I'm going to have a lot of dice. Sure. So what's actually? Can I even win? This might not even be winnable. Andre has decided not to deploy into fisticuffs because he was suicide. Would lose. <laughs> I have a bunch of SMGs. I got the cover of the fence. I got a machine gun. All he would have would be one per guy and then his leader. Yeah. I would probably have a lot more dice than him. So he's just going to deploy back and then fire. But needing fires because I'm elite. Woohoo! Two hits. Two hits! <laughs> okay, uh, two that kills. was a game changer. Doesn't matter. Ooh, you could give me two kills and it wouldn't matter. Well, it would, because I only got seven guys. Okay. So I took a shock. All right. These... Oh, I can't even move those guys, because... You don't have a two. I got a three. Um, those guys can't see sh shit other than... Oh, your guys aren't on the hill, so nope, they can't... I never brought in my scouts yet. Uh, so that's all I can do. Okay. Oh, no, no. I can bring in my medic. You can try to bring in your medic. No, I'm going to bring him in. Nope. Not with a four. Yeah. Uh, she used that six you had earlier to end the turn. So one, two, two, four, four. So the two fours don't do anything for me, but the, I can probably do something with those. First action will be to fire the SU-122 again at that squad. Needing fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. All right. So split them up. See if I can get so one more wound on this guy. Okay, so... Uh... This group, With two dead and a shock. Two dead and a shock, and the other group, dead, a dead and, and a shock. shock. Check your leader. No, no, it's not for once. Go figure. But so you lost three guys total, and two then dead two and a shock and a dead, and then a shock. Now my elite SMG squad is going to unleash. Within six inches, 26 shots at these guys. I did contemplate taking them out to drop this force morale, but it, I don't think I can. If you whiffed, I can't sustain. It would have been a problem. I'll never get lucky like I did on that last round of shooting. So I'm gonna see if I can cripple them a little bit. Even fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only eight, eight hits, I believe. That's not very good on <laughs> 26 dice with needing uh, so fours. Saw. Eight. Two, four, six, eight, nine. 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 
That's not horrible, but could have been a little bit better. So and first team, five and four. All right, so that's uh, three shock and a dead. And two, a dead and a shock. So that, not really good. Only two dead and three shock. Not the leader. That's not what you needed. Not really good. So two dead <laughs> and three shock. Yeah, not not nearly good enough. Not nearly good enough. All right. So we oh oh double phase. Two With ones. Two ones. Two ones. And a four. And a wounded leader. You can try to bring your medic in again. I'm With thinking. The four. You might as well. Uh, yeah. So. In the five. Nope. No. No medic. So two ones. These guys are going to fire back. I'm one chain of command point shy of being able to interrupt. I haven't gotten a chain of command dice yet in two games. In one yeah. night. Well. <laughs> Andre can't possibly whiff as bad as he did last time. Two fives. One, two, three. Almost. Yeah. Woo! I beat last time. It wasn't as bad. <laughs> yeah. uh, what do we got here? Two shock. Two shock. Man. <laughs> what all right. Work. Now, that's all Andre can do. I need a five here. That way, if this happens again, I can interrupt. So give me just one five and a two or a three. Okay, there's the two. There's the fives. I think you should have rolled a six and four five, uh, four fours. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna fire back. So I'm gonna fire at this depleted squad. I do have a chain of command dice now, so when he gets his turn again, I will be able to interrupt him. So first I'm gonna try to wipe out that squad there. Even fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now oh, that's a good roll. Yes. I was down one shot because of the shock that Andre did. What was that, uh, 20, 40 something rounds of shooting? You did three shock on me? Yeah. That's pretty bad. Pretty special. You're supposed to split them up, but that's fine. So yeah, you got, uh, there's one, three two, dead right there. Okay, and then one, two, three, four shock. So I got five Check guys. Check your leader. It is him. See which one it is. It's Junior, the small man. So let's see what happens to him. Knocked out again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's still alive. <laughs> he's been knocked out twice. He's been wounded. Bad thing. That's nothing. That's nothing. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay. So bad thing. So he lost. He took a bunch of shock. He's only got two shock left, but he's still got a three-man team there. So I lost here. a team. Team wiped out. That's got to be minus, minus one. one. Team wiped out minus one. So Andre's down to three. Oh, we forgot to remove some dice when you roll them. That's time. okay. I had a double phase. <laughs> uh, well, this is my turn, but... Uh, uh, or is it? Yeah. The two ones I used to uh, activate these guys. And I think that's it. That's all I can do. Um, yeah, I think that'll do it. So, Andre's phase. Go for it. I'm thinking maybe I, because I rolled the four. Did you have a double phase? When I you think missed? I did. Really? Yeah, I think I did miss my double phase. <laughs> to be you. <laughs> At the moment, yes. <laughs> One, two, three, and a five and a six. Six in. The medic has come in on a. I'm assuming the five, one. or oh, uh, yeah, and he has a two and a three, two and a three left. He's going to resurrect the twice knocked out, once wounded leader. Kopke is still down. All right, so, so what are you going to do? So I can activate these guys on a two or a three, or a th if since your leader's back, back up now. I didn't realize those guys were so close to the fence. Yeah. Yeah, um, trees blocking your lane of sight. Yeah, okay, well. I think I'm well, going to use my chain of command dice to interrupt and okay. fire at these guys. Okay. Alrighty. I think this is the same dice cup, so I'm just going to do it again. Well, I'm, technically, you should have been splitting them up to that other squad, too, Andre. Because uh, you're within four. Yep. Cool. 
like I said, we're just getting back into it here. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah. Four. It's not uh, going real smooth. Yeah, we haven't played in a while. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve hits this time. And I suppose you can split them up between three squads. So three per squad. Four, I'm sorry, four per, per team. So you're hitting these guys? I'll just target them so you can okay. split them up between everyone. Does my medic take a... No. Okay, so it's four each? Four each. Okay, so the broken dudes. No, not them. They're too far away. It's these squad, these two teams, and then this team. Oh, okay. So, okay, first team here. A dead and a shock. Second team here. A dead and a shock. And the other dudes. A dead and, and two, two shock. shock. Okay, so roll your that leader. End it. Roll your leader for that squad. You got. Uh, yeah, it's him. <laughs> That's the only thing that's been your downfall tonight. He's knocked out. So this leader is knocked out. Bad thing. That'll be minus one. And did we again let you roll all your dice? Just as just after I said you shouldn't have got to roll all your dice, we immediately went and rolled all your dice. <laughs> <laughs> so you're down to two. Okay, so that is a... Uh, and these guys are going to route. So you're going to have... Three dead now. Out of or how many out of this? This this was uh, one dead and two shock, right? Yep. Yep. So check your leader, because it could be that leader. Oh, we could knock him out again. Not him. Not him. Okay. So you're gonna so lose. So you the one guy with the no, I got break. no, I got two guys and four shock. Yeah. Well, three guys because you got your leader there. Oh, so I still don't think so. They aren't spot. broken. They're just pinned. Yeah, I don't think that that team actually had that many guys. I think we weren't keeping track. But anyway, no, uh, yeah, you're still I'm in the game. I'm thinking I did that right, <laughs> but uh, maybe we didn't even know how many guys you had. How could you possibly do it right? <laughs> well, because I was pulling them out, uh, I just didn't see the guys under the tree. I didn't. Right, exactly. That's what I mean. Well, okay, um, okay. So that's that. Then, uh, so, well, hold on. So I lost uh, how many well, dudes? We're gonna reroll his dice. Double phase. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't shoot. So you can shoot twice. I already interrupted here, so I'm done. Okay, so uh, I can shoot. <laughs> yes, you can shoot. Okay. Shots. So it's this squad is going to fire straight ahead. 18 shots. Needing fives? Needing fives because I'm elite. One, two, three, four, five. Four deads in your leader. Oh, two dead, though, and two shock. Oh, not the leader. We saw it for a second there. Okay, we'll take out. Uh, well, I'm gonna take out the machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really see any point in keeping them around. I'll keep those SMGs. Um, and then two shot. So I've already at. Oh, I might be pinned now. All of a sudden, I only had seven guys to start. Oh, I'm still alive for now. But you get another but phase. It's a double phase. It is a double phase. <laughs> End of turn. Two yeah. ones. I'll reroll that. That's enough to do the squad again. And a four. Uh, you could pin me and then then where will we be? <laughs> <laughs> right here. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so same uh, same deal. Same shot, isn't it? Uh, yes, because you can't pull any shot because you only got two ones. Okay. Even five. Need a whiff. Another whiff. Not so much. So there's five, six. Six. Uh, six. Not bad enough. Oh, that was bad enough. One shock, but that'll <laughs> pin me. <laughs> but it pins you. <laughs> oh, God. How the hell are we ever going to finish this game now? <laughs> I could still shoot. Yeah. Uh, even at half effect, I think you're going <laughs> to uh, knock me down to zero here shortly. I'm still, I'm still here. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's it. You don't have anything to do with the four, since oh, Cop comes oh, down. Oh, wait, wait. I, I can activate my uh, medic. medic on a four, right? Yeah, yeah. So the medic comes over and gets my dude up. I don't think you can move and do it. I think you got to be there. Okay. Uh, three ones, a two, and a four. And I've never had Lankowski on the board <laughs> at all in this game. Sure you did. He just. But I can off do my. I'm going to do my tank and my squad. 
Oh man, I wish I had two threes because then I could pull a shock and be unpinned. If, well, I guess it doesn't matter till the turnout. So the tank and the squad. The tank. That's a shit roll. Two hits. <laughs> oh <laughs> That's what God. you get for shooting at uh, wounded unconscious guys on the ground. I'm not unconscious. It's a dead and a shock. Okay. Check your leader. They're both leaders. Oh. No, you got two guys there. Not the leader. So a dead and a shock. They're going to break. I think this will do it for you. Maybe. You're at two. So bad thing. That's still got to be something. Probably minus one. Uh, two breaks. And then uh, I have so a, I'm down to one. Yeah, and I'm I'm down to seven shots with my pin squad. <laughs> Uh, two hits. Woohoo! Will we end here. the game with two hits? Uh, one mm. shock. One shock. I don't think so. Okay. This is going to be interesting because now I'm going to be in hard cover, pinned behind soft cover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I got three dice. Your only chance is to break me. Break uh, me, two. break me. So you could. Um, so I can fire. You could fire again. Okay, so. 19 shots. So the medic, he pulled him over last turn, I think. Yep. And then he got him back up. And now he's going to fire again, needing fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Damn. Yeah. Nine. Nine. Okay. Nine. Nine. So that's a dead and a shock. That's it. Oh, wow. It's not the leader. <laughs> but I'm going to be like break territory here soon. Uh, might be broken now. Needed to go a little faster than that. Four, not quite. Uh, got four guys with seven shock. Uh, I'm still here. Uh, okay. Now it's my phase. Uh, actually, yeah. You don't got nothing left. No, I thought I could move these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day. Uh, okay, I'll never get to that. So I got two threes, a one, and a two. So it's only going to be six shots. My tank has no line of sight on anything. Although I think I should get something for me capturing your senior leader there. Well, only if you can hold him. Okay. Right now you're in the fight for your life battle. He's just laying there. Four Woo! hits. Look at that. Four sixes. I need to take your leader out. Andre's down to one force morale. Uh, not, uh, well, three, three shock. Three shock. So it's not nothing. So. But it's not good enough. We're at five and five. Ten. Actually, that's probably. Am I just pinned or is that? Uh... Andre is now pinned. He's only got seven guys with ten, so we're both pinned. All right. Andre's at one, but I have a higher force morale, but I have less guys. <laughs> <laughs> so who's who's gonna give out first? Your force morale or my small squad? <laughs> That's the big question. Okay. I was at two Andre's and down three. To one. So I'm at two dice now? Yeah, because command dice reduced by three. Three. Yeah. All right. Double phase. Woohoo! Senior leader. All right. Cocky. Uh, oh, you can't do anything. Hmm. <laughs> My phase. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very interesting game, to say the least. Hey, double phase, and I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I did get another point, so maybe if I keep going. Yeah, keep pulling <laughs> double phases. Hey, okay. uh, there's all my threes. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, everybody. <laughs> oh, shit, man. I still got my scout squad. I'm not bringing them in, though. They're just going to get shot. <laughs> I was going to bring them over there, but that's just more chances for Give me, me to lose to at, horse <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe I might re right, rethink that, because if I can get right here, I'll be behind this. You can't see me from there. But I could see over the fence, and I do have a couple of rifles at least. That sounds like an Andre plan. Sounds like an Andre move. So I'm going to pull a shock with a three here. Why don't you do your shooting first? Maybe yeah. you can actually just end this. <laughs> what was it, six shots? Uh, it was six last how time. How many? I've dropped down to five, so maybe so it's one more. So you've got eight minus two. Well, half of eight. No, it's well, eight times four. No. It's 16, four per. Okay. Eight. For, for being pinned and then minus oh i was two. i was subtracting so six, the yeah. two before you halved it yeah that's how you got one extra shot last time so three hits on you all right can we finish it and you're in soft cover now 
<laughs> In soft uh, cover. Just one shock. Oh, wow. Okay. Scout squad did come in over here, just behind this hill, out of line of sight of them, but I do have line of sight over the fence to those guys, but I only have four rifles that can ma uh, make it. So I need fives. Two hits, though. Wow. Come on, kill the leaders. Uh, yeah, it's a dead. One dead guy. Oh, shit. Almost. So what do you got now? 10, sh 11, 11 shock with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One six. more and you're going to break. Woohoo! So I just got to survive one more okay. barrage. All I have to do is pull it off right here. Need a miracle. A miracle. I believe in miracles. A one. Uh, oh. You can fire one, one team. team. So that'll be nine shots. Oh, half of that, and then minus your shock. So it'll be nine. Well, I'll do it. Oh, or... you can add him too. Okay. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, half of that. So six. And then minus three more for your shock. So three. Three shots. Pow! Oh, you missed. I'm in elites. <laughs> All righty. Oh, this is a weird, weird... I don't know if we've ever had a game this bizarre. This is... Yeah. <laughs> One squad of guys made it in and somehow might possibly pull it off. Double phase. Yeah, that'll yeah, do that'll it. Yeah, that'll do it. Maybe. I didn't... Oh, I did get a three. So I will pull another shock. And then we'll fire our six shots again. Or I just need one more shock to break you. Something like that? Yeah. Four hits. That'll do it. That that's the same. Unless you're losing. Oh no. yeah, your leader wounded. Could. Doesn't matter. Um, no matter what. Uh, well, no, it's not true. If your leader. It's not my leader. It's not your leader. Okay. But it's uh, two, four, five, and yeah, they're broke. So yeah, that's going to be game because Andre is at one, and he can't possibly not lose more than one breaking. Uh, yeah, I think, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we have been screwing up, Andre, now that I think about it. We've been rolling leader routes, I think, on those, on those, and we shouldn't have been. Oh. Yeah, like I said, we haven't played in a while. <laughs> and played a lot of games in between. It's, uh, yeah, this has been a long time. So anyway, yeah, we'll come back and wrap it up. All right, so we're back. Uh, yeah, I think we were screwed. We did screw up pretty big. It was a, big... a lot. <laughs> Well, because I think we were rolling leader routes when they routed, when they broke, but we shouldn't have done that. It's only when they leave the table that you roll uh, leader routes. No, because I didn't have any leaders with the... I uh, think when this squad or, oh, maybe. broke, I think you rolled a leader routed on there. So you might actually be up at like another two. You should maybe be up at two now. Maybe. Um, that wouldn't the, stop them from breaking, though. In in the uh, scheme of all of the errors we've uh, been making tonight, I... <laughs> I don't uh, think we did horribly. I, I bet we did. I bet, I bet there's a ton of stuff we were we just flat missed. Cause, yeah, probably. Um, it's just been too long, and... Uh, well, we'll get back into it. We'll relearn it. Yeah. Even when we knew it, we weren't perfect. <laughs> no, this is true, but there's just so many things, um, you know, in... I mean, it's like, so, you know, I'm trying to think, what the hell should I have done differently? You know, how did this go so far south so fast? And it, uh... Well, one squad made it into the village somehow. That was all it took, apparently. Well, and I, I mean, I can point to, you know, I just kept getting my leaders hit. That was the biggest which, problem. Which, um, you know, the trick there is don't let your leaders get exposed to that much firepower. But I <laughs> really didn't think I was uh, doing that. It was and, bad luck part of it. I had good luck on that game. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see it happening for me, but one squad of elites uh, make it into the village. Elites are tough to deal with. I yeah. mean, and that's the only way that the Soviets could possibly win this. If yeah. they weren't elites, they would be toast. Oh no, they're yeah. They that was the only thing that gave them a chance. Plus, all your bad uh, bad luck on leaders helped them big helped them a lot as well. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it was an interesting game. Uh, I really didn't. I knew that the. Um, Tank Rider Platoon was not going to do well against this. I didn't realize how bad they would do in the first one, but that was just well, that was just kind of a perfect storm of yeah. stuff. The first of all, the 
the pregame barrage going away on the first roll, and then just you were rolling really I, well, and I was not. Um, I was hitting pretty much every roll, and you were pretty much it was sucking a, on your saves. It was a bad. It was just a bad game. And then we came back with game two with the elites, and I still started out bad. Well, I lost two squads. Well, you needed to not bring. You needed to do different support than the trucks, which we didn't figure out till after the second truck blew up again. Yeah, you, um, I would have been better off just moving on foot. Yeah, three D six. Which uh, you know, who would have thought? But yeah, absolutely. Um, you could have. Uh, what were the trucks? One point eight, or no? We gave them to you for free. For free. Didn't we? Yeah, they were free. Um, but you, yeah, they the are free trucks. Point. weren't worth it. <laughs> no, they hurt me more than they helped me. Yeah. They would have helped me in the first game if the pregame barrage would have lasted and I could have actually moved up. But elites and trucks, you're better off just moving three d six on foot. Yeah. Because trucks are so easy to take out that. And especially, then, yeah, especially against the Germans. Um, well, and then you get the all the hits, and then the two d six on top of that. Then the truck blows up. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and then you're just like, okay, so you're looking at. A, and then when you start off with a seven man squad, it doesn't take much to pin them or break them or just. Yeah. Wipe. I'm sorry. Ch battery change. Battery change. Um, yeah, if without the trucks, just moving those guys in on foot. Um, yeah, you've still got that open ground to cover, but if you've got that tank parked back on your back edge. Uh, covering half of the uh, board, um, I'm only going to be able to, you know, I'm going to be pretty limited in where I can deploy and uh, shoot at you without taking that 11 HE off the tank. That was my plan. My plan was to have the scouts kind of distract and make you deploy something over there and move my trucks and my tank up real hard and try to take this over and then just move that way well that was uh that was a you didn't need to distract me because that was part of my plan was to deploy over there in the hard cover with uh -huh. two sections over here and have crossing fire oh okay so uh yeah our our plans played right into each other we were both <laughs> making each other do exactly what we wanted um Imagine if I got two squads of uh, elite tank oh. riders up here, right along the fence. Well, and that was kind of the idea of, uh, you know, that one uh, minefield taking away that soft cover there, that um, with two sections over here with all those machine guns and Panzerfausts, that you just wouldn't be able to get up into that orchard. Well, um, these guys, they did get two really good move rolls, though, too. Yeah. I think they move like 30-something inches almost, and... I mean, I had like a 15 and a 12 in two consecutive rolls. Well, they, and they didn't get shot at um, on the way in. Right. Yeah, because they cleared the church on the one move, so they didn't get to shoot at and them. And these guys... And they were blocked over here. Well, and I forget, I think I took a hit or... These, the squad that was here was getting hammered by that yeah. SU-122 the whole time. And I don't think I got a die to... Uh, or you had a double fate. I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember, but they just kind of got in there fairly unmolested, which... Uh, well, your plan, you did stick to your plan, two squads over here. Yep. And my plan was to move into this orchard and try to wipe this out, and one Who would one have thought squad. you could do it with a squad of elites? So in two games, I lost... Well, in this game, I lost two squads. In the first game, I lost two or three. So I've almost lost both the platoon twice <laughs> but somehow i was able to pull off a miracle win it might be we were messed up on the uh like i think you should still have at least one or two more on your yeah. force morale i think there were probably enough mistakes going around that uh we can't really cancel lay each other off out anything it's yeah just uh, i don't think that that would have saved you no because I, I was steadily pulling this down and no i was uh you well, were just, not pulling anything. just rolling two dice it's like Okay. A six um, and a four. Yeah. I've got to roll like, with that. Well, you have to roll a two, a two or a three. Or a three. Yep. And or or actually only one. One could So do. I guess I did have pretty good chance. No, I should have been getting a shot off. Um, that's actually pretty good odds, uh, like 60% chance. Yeah, but of, you're still pinned with... Yeah. That's not going to change. But it's not like all I had to do was kill a guy every other turn. I mean... Right, because I had so few guys. <laughs> if you just got one kill per phase, if you were lucky, you would have wiped me oh, out. Oh, a kill per phase would have been awesome, but it, with elites, that's really hard to do. I yeah. mean, a uh, kill every other phase and a pin or two every phase was really what... And if I could have consistently done that, I think I would have uh, won yeah. that battle of attrition. But And don't forget, HE is uh, really good against elites because it doesn't matter. It don't, HE don't care. <laughs> HE don't care. HE don't care if you're elite... Um, 
The elites, I think the only way to really run these uh, Soviet tank riders is elites. Without being elite, um, they're just too easy to wipe out. Seven men. Well, Unless there's a bunch of cover they can move between and hide behind. It's another advance. one of those you need to have uh, just a lot more uh, beef up their support enough to make it. We did with five extra points and then well, two free trucks. Uh, yeah. So really, they had seven extra points if you count the trucks, which didn't do anything, except yeah. kill me. <laughs> <laughs> if if I wasn't in those trucks, those two squads probably would not have routed. No. The they only reason they routed is because they were in trucks that blew, blew up. Because they blew up, yeah. No, absolutely. If I would have came in on foot, I probably would have, I would have taken pins and some kills, but I would have still been on the oh, yeah. board. No, without the trucks, the this trucks would have were been bad. really difficult. The trucks are, unless we're playing them wrong, but according to the what we see on our little cheat sheet, our quick reference sheet, you roll the dice as normal, you count up the hits, and if you have so many sixes, it, you roll on the opposite the tables. And then if you have so many sixes, you just automatically destroy it. I guess we, we could have rolled to see if it blew up. We didn't do that. Yeah. We just kind of automatically assumed. But you had like six sixes. Yeah, well... well I mean, if that's not going to blow it up, what is? <laughs> <laughs> so technically, that's probably something else we messed up on. We should have probably rolled to see if it blew up on a five or a six. Which could have maybe kept my guys on the table for which one more I think turn. we did roll on the first one uh, truck the first in the first game mm -hmm. I think we did roll and then after that it was just kind of uh, in disgust pulling them off yeah because the trucks are so crappy yeah half tracks that's what we need at least those can't be killed you know by rifles yeah you, you could try to drive them off if I got within range but I think that Half tracks would be a lot better. <laughs> yeah, no. This Maybe is, next time I'll try this with half tracks. This was not a real great uh, setup for uh, for this for this game. It just for that uh, force that I have. Well, it's just yeah, it's just too problematic, and it's uh, relying way too much on uh, you know just a couple of units and getting lucky. It's like um, I've got to take out the tank uh, or oh that damn Panzer Shrek is yeah. It's, it's really, does my Panzer Shrek take out your tank was pretty much the entire game here. It didn't, not this one. No, he mobilized that's it, right. but he was still won. firing, yeah. If the tank hadn't have been wiped out, those guys would have still stayed up on the fence and you wouldn't have made it up to the orchard. Yeah. I'd have been able to pin you down out in the open. Yep. So the SU-122 was the only thing, really my only chance. Well, in the elites, but... Anyway, yeah, it was uh, two games. Very interesting. We apologize. I'm, I'm sure we've made a lot of mistakes, but like I said, we're just getting back into this. It's been over a month. Well, month. <laughs> I say it's been a month since I played. I played against Johnny like a month ago, but since you played, it was yeah, probably two I, months. I was going to say, uh, I can't remember the last game. Yeah. Uh, it, it's been a while. So it's Andre's very rusty, and he's already bad with memory. <laughs> That's not your So joke. bad memory and, and long time is like a double whammy for on yeah hmm. all right well yeah that's it for this one so uh, hopefully you guys like it kind of an experimental game with trucks first time we've used trucks and uh first time we've used the tank well, rider and platoon tank riders and it was just something different yeah just to try something um i probably should have put a little bit more terrain out so they could leapfrog around and try to get up there crossing open ground is not tank riders kind of forte yeah <laughs> If they had some terrain just to skip around to, yeah, but they didn't. And, but they still pull the game off at the end, which is a, a miracle to me. One squad of elite tank riders obliterated the force morale of a Panzer Grenadier platoon. So that's something. So we're one and one on this one, which is amazing to me after the way the first game went. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So with that, we'll go ahead and sign off. Uh, check out our Patreon page, and thanks to all the patrons. Um, we appreciate you guys a lot, and thanks to all the people who are subscribe or uh, members of our Facebook group as well, which is really cool. We got a Discord now as well. Uh, check our. You can. I don't know if you can find it. I think. I don't think you can search for our Discord. I think you have to have so many people in the group for it to actually show up in a search. Uh, but if you go to the Facebook group, you can find a link to our Discord, uh, an invite link, and you can join it that way. And other than that, uh, we'll go ahead and call it to, for the night. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.